Dang it, I forgot my money in the car. I'll pay you back. You forgot your money in the car? Oh no. Looks like you're not going to be able to shop today. Yes, I will. I'll just pay you. <laughs> All right, Clipper, you need to make a decision on what you're going to do. Are you going to get American Girl doll stuff? Are you going to get something different? You want all of it. We can't do all of it. everybody welcome back to our channel guys today is Martin Luther King Day all the kiddos are home again from school and tomorrow they will also be home doing online school trying to get the COVID numbers down here in Utah it's been a little bit crazy and we have our fingers crossed that they will all be able to go back to school come Wednesday my kids do so much better with in-person school at home school just doesn't really work that great for us so they need to go back to school we're praying that the numbers will go down enough to where that can actually happen today I'm gonna have Claire and Carmen help me take down the Christmas tree in the basement you guys it's still standing down there I have not had time to get to it it's been crazy ever since we got home from vacation it's just like one thing after another this week is also another crazy week so today since we have like nothing going on we're gonna get it taken down and put all away that way the rest of the week we can focus on the things that we have each and every day before we get going on Christmas tree stuff Claire's <laughs> getting her jump roping in for the day You're pretty good at that. <laughs> that's a good workout Makes you tired, huh? All right, we're down here in the basement. We're gonna get this tree taken down today. Finally, it's been in the house for far too long. <laughs> I've never had a tree up this long, so it's definitely time to get it down. Claire and Carmen are gonna help me really fast. This one actually comes down a lot faster than our big upstairs tree. That one is like an entire day of putting it up and an entire day of taking it down. There's so much that I have to take off and carefully put away. This one's a lot smaller, so it comes down much faster, much easier. We already have the tree bag in here ready to go. Got all the totes in here. Get these all filled up. Get everything cleaned up and organized. Yeah, let's just start with taking all the big pieces off first. Then you kind of go down to the small pieces. There we go. Here's a little piece. This is probably the smallest ornament we have on this tree. <laughs> There's like three or four of those on the tree. Try and gather all four of them up, stack them in a pile, and then we'll put them in our own individual bags to protect them. Claire, I think you just broke more of the these poor little snowflakes. Might have to go to the garbage. You just keep getting broke. I didn't break it. Well, it sounded like you broke it again. Carmen accidentally broke this piece off, but it was. I know they're they're just cheap styrofoam. Oh, there's more of it. They're definitely cheap, and we've had them for several years, so oh, they're wow. very very fragile. Ah! As always, this tree is coming down much faster than it goes up. Carmen pretty much has it completely bared off. She's getting the ribbon off and these extra twinkle lights that I put in there. We're just about done. We're doing a great job. Lots of stuff I already put into the totes. Did you get it, Carm? I think so. We gotta take these and we gotta flatten them all back out again so that they'll fit nicely in the totes. They're all tangled up in the tree. The tree is completely down into pieces. Just trying to get it shoved into this bag. And then I'm going to have Owen help me haul all the totes and the tree outside, get this all taken care of, and then the house will be back to normal, ready for the new year. Locked Christmas trees are my absolute favorite, but they leave an enormous mess, but they look so pretty. The mess is absolutely worth it to me. I'm covered in it. The floor is completely covered in all the snow that falls off. And not only does it get everywhere, it's like super sticky. It like sticks to my clothes. I have a hard time getting it out. Sometimes it won't even come off my clothes, but my pants are covered in it. Hopefully these will come clean and it will not be stuck there forever. Um, all right, I got the muscles of the house right here. Help me haul all of this stuff outside. Oh, can you handle this? Yes. Maybe. Well, the tree you might need my help for, but maybe these, quoted you were maybe these totes you could help me with. This isn't really helping you. This is doing it for you. <laughs> You're helping me by doing it for me because my knee going up and down those stairs is very painful. All right, everything is all clean, put back to normal, vacuumed, no more snow on the carpet. Claire and Carmen are enjoying the nice open space without the Christmas tree. What are Claire, you guys playing? I'll blindfold hide and seek. Blindfold hide and seek? Yeah. How exactly do you do that? So I count to 10. So you're blindfolded. Yeah, Carmen finds a place to hide. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, nine, 10, and then I go find her blindfold. And huh. she cannot move. Oh, so she can't move. <laughs> oh, I got you! 
<laughs> now that we have Christmas all cleaned up and put away, Claire and Carmen and I are going to Target. We have a few things to grab there. Hopefully there's still a few Valentine decorations because that is one thing I've never really invested a ton of money into, Valentine's Day stuff. Not really a holiday that I get, get super excited about. So we're going to see if we can find a few things to help kind of decorate the house up a little bit for that. And then Claire and Carmen want to spend their Christmas money on who knows what. So we're going to go wander Target for a little bit and hopefully they can find something to spend all of this money they got for Christmas. All right, we're hitting up the dollar section here at Target, first of all, to see what we can find. So far, that is the only Valentine thing they have here. Struck by Cupid. Oh boy, we're late for anything Valentine's Day, I'm afraid. Well, we tried. Dang it, I forgot my money in the car, I'll pay you back. You forgot your money in the car? Oh no, looks like you're not gonna be able to shop today. Yes, I will, I'll just pay you. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's actually quite a few toys on the shelf right now. You must have restocked after Christmas. There's so many. So many options. All right, Carmen's trying to decide. We're looking at the American Girl doll stuff. She found this super cute spa day thing. It makes, it plays music, makes bubble noises. That's really cute. It turns on the water too. Super oh, fun. Really you can have a spa day with your American Girl dolls. They have a cute little bathtub. They have so much fun stuff for these American Girl dolls. I like this outfit. The cheetah is super cute. One. That is cute, like a locker. Just like, Three different lockers. That's cool. A pizza oven. They have so many fun things. Guys, if I was a kid again, I would totally have all this stuff from my American Girl dolls. But they have so many fun things that it makes it entertaining. You can go from having pizza, then you can go to the spa. Yeah, but all of it is so expensive. You have to kind of just like slowly buy it. <laughs> it's so cute and so fun. Down here they have like a stretcher, a medical kit, neck brace. Oh, it's kind of fun. Too bad they didn't have an ambulance. What is that one? A vet? But I don't even, I don't even have a We'd have to buy a pet. What'd you find? We found a traveling kit, and then we also found this. Oh, a wheelchair. This is so cute. I would so get this, but this it's like fun. a hundred and something dollars. It's like a full kitchen there. That's beautiful. That's fun. That one could be fun too, Carm. Maybe we can find a little scanner thing to see how much that one costs. Is that yeah. the one you would want? The crutches, Mom, I'm not gonna go into one with you. <laughs> it's true, it's very true. Okay, Carmen, have you made your decision? Yep. Oh, we're going with the horse. Okay. And a horseback riding outfit. And a horseback riding outfit. Perfect. All right. That'll be super fun. Claire? I physically, like... Hopefully there's no slug man <laughs> in that one. I have to get this. You have to get that? So we can go potting together. It's true. <laughs> All right, Clever, you need to make a decision on what you're going to do. Are you going to get American Girl doll stuff? Are you going to get something different? You want all of it. We can't do all of it. All right, we're just getting home from Target and running a few other errands, and Carmen is dying to tear into this horse. She's gonna get her American Girl doll all dressed up, ready to ride. Let's open it up and see how this thing works. So there's like tape and stuff on the back that I have to cut. Well, there's zip ties and tape that I have to cut off. All right, let's take those off. Do you need help? No, I don't think so. I just need to make a bit of time. I was wondering what in the heck that is. It's like Play horse that's bigger than him. Got one part of Get it. it. One part. Only one. Here, wait, I have an idea. Let's use the scissors. All right, we got this thing out of the box. Looks like he still has some plastic on his feet, Carm. Maybe you could get that off. Yeah, I'm gonna need the scissors wherever they went. Carefully cut those off. <laughs> I just realized I did it wrong. It's hard to do. I have to cut it right there. There we go. All right, all the plastic is off. This horse came with some fun little accessories. There's something around its hair. Little ponytails that you can put in her hair. Be careful, don't cut its hair. And then you can also switch out, or not, maybe not switch out, you can add, oh, it's like a little clip, so you can just add it in maybe like that, so she just has a stripe of blue hair. Yeah. That's so cool. It's like attached to the, the saddle right there, and I try not to cut it's her kinda hair. It's kind of sewn in there, huh? Okay, let me help you. Okay, we got the horse completely unpackaged. Carmen's now trying to get the outfit so that the doll will look the part on this new horse. What's your doll's name, Carm? Leah. Leah? Mm-hmm. That's so cute. Still some long hair, this horse. 
It does have long hair. Claire decided not to get toys and decided to go with clothes. So she spent her Christmas money on a few new shirts and a couple pairs of pants. Those are some things that she actually needed and didn't want to spend money on toys because she felt like she was getting too old and we would just get rid of them in a few years anyway, so it would just be a waste of her money. <laughs> I told her, very smart. Money well spent on clothes, I feel like is a much better option, especially at her age. All right, Carm, do we have the clothes opened? Yes. Ready to go. They're so cute. They came, in came like with some cute boots, a hat. A hat is my favorite. A riding hat, very cute. It has a vest and a shirt, and then it's pants. While Carmen is working on getting her doll all dressed up, Claire is gonna show us the clothes that she picked out. They're really cute. Target has some great stuff, especially for that in-between adult slash teenager phase. She's not quite little kid. She's not full-on adult yet, but somewhere in between, and Target has a great line for or the tweenagers is what we like to call them. <laughs> That's right where you're at, Car or Claire Bear. All right, so she got this super cute jacket. Try that on. It's adorable. Adorbs. This one, it's a little big. That's okay, you'll grow into it. It's very cute. Okay, and then I have these really cute pants. Got a couple pairs of pants. And I got this shirt. Very cute. And then I got this shirt. Just a plain blush colored shirt which mm -hmm. will go very cute underneath your jacket. Yep, and then I got this shirt. Cute, so cute. And then I got a pair of pants. Another pair of pants. Yep. Awesome. Claire has grown so much. Like I said before, when we were packing to go to Florida, I was literally going through her summer clothes that she just wore this past summer, and I would say over half of them no longer fit her. She has grown like crazy over the past couple months, and I know when summer comes again, we're gonna have to go buy another whole new wardrobe for her because I just can't seem to keep up with her. So we've got a few new clothes here that are gonna get her through the rest of the winter, and then once it starts to warm up, we'll definitely have to do another shopping trip for summer clothes. How's it coming down here, Carm? Good, I got her main part of the outfit on. I'm going to have to put her jacket, her shoes, and her hat on. All right, she's just about ready to ride. Yep. Does that horse make any noise or anything like that? Nope, I don't think so. Nope, he just stands there? Yeah, his hooves don't move. Ow! <laughs> they won't go on! It's a little okay. tricky. Go like that. <coughs> Got it. That's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see her. She's all ready to go. She gets her whip. She needs her whip. Got her helmet on. Get her on the horse. Yes! Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, get back up on there. Saddle's not staying tight. Nope, nope, it isn't. There we go. Saddle back on. Now put the doll on. Retry. Maybe her legs won't bend like that. So these are the reins. She wants to hold those in her hands so that's how she controls her horse. I don't know, but like it's tangled through the hair. See? Oh. Not that long. Yeah, they are long. They're just tangled. See, like that. They're actually that long. Oh wow, those are really long reins. I don't know. Don't <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't hold on to them. <laughs> Maybe that'll help stabilize her, putting it around her neck. All right, Carmen. Let's see how well your dog can ride. Giddy up, 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 giddy up. <laughs> She's a pretty good rider. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be scared. <laughs> my kids absolutely love to be able to go to the store after Christmas and spend the money that my parents give them. And today was a perfect day to take them. We didn't have a lot going on and Target wasn't crazy busy, which usually never happens. So I was grateful for that because Target on most days is unbearable. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with us. Come back tomorrow and we will see you guys then.